The way I work and the way I paint is kind of luck and coincidence, I guess. I paint till quite late at night, fall asleep, the paint's dried when I wake up in the morning, and on the way to work I just leave it in the streets again. So it's kind of a continuous cycle. I've been here 25 years now, and I've been working with graffiti artists for 16 years. My first artist came along and I'm still showing that same artist 16 years later. It had taken 11 years before I ever sold anything. And then five years ago, someone came in and bought a painting and it seemed to kick in from that time. The moment of creating it is the most important part of painting for me. That, that nanosecond where the brain tells my hand to make that movement or yeah. Sometimes I'll be painting something and something inside naturally tells me, oh, you should do that horizon there or that tree there. I'll decide, no, I won't listen to my instinct and do something completely different and try and surprise myself sometimes. There's the people who paint on posters, the people like Adam who leave their work in the street, but they all have to serve their time, really. They have to do their 10 year stint. You know, if I, if I painted a red painting, I'd think about to leave it somewhere where it'd complement its surroundings, you know. As, as my paintings yeah. in the street go, the painting isn't finished until it's been left in the streets okay. and, I've, and it's an environment, I've taken a yeah. photo of it, then it's a finished image. Sometimes they've, you know, they've gone. Either the, the rubbish collectors have taken them or the wind's blown them over or maybe somebody has taken them. It's the open head the artists have achieved themselves because they, they haven't had critics. They, they haven't had art schools. They haven't had anyone telling them what to do, really. The competition was between one another. The one great thing about Adam, he's figurative. And in England, figurative for the top dogs in the painting world. They, 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 that's who they revere in England. Well, it's a movement that's gone on over several decades, really, but it's finally come to the gallery area. This is the first movement ever in art to come off of the streets. It doesn't have a name, I leave it to the critics to give it a name.